everybody, it's Kurt, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can customize um, some features in ClassLink to um, make it personal to you, and also how to use some of the main features on the dashboard. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is how you can do some customization in the profile area. Um, so if you select the silhouette in the upper right hand corner, and you go to My Profile, and you can add a profile image. If you select change image, you can look at all the different ones that ClassLink has provided. Um, so I'm going to change it from Barack Obama to, let's see here, so hard to pick, Michael Jordan. And then it instantly saves it, and then that's what your profile image would look like. You can also change the themes and colors. The wallpaper is currently locked um, to kind of have that consistency there. But you can also, if you change the theme, what it will do is change the right hand side, what the words look like, and also the header of the page will change um, when you go back to your main dashboard. Um, so we will change that to a nice little, we'll go with a red, just so you can see what the change looks like. And then if we exit out, you can see now at the top, um, we have a red header. So if you go back to my profile, the other major um, feature or part of this area is the password locker. So as you're signing into your programs, and if you run along into one where you accidentally put in the wrong password, or you need to update a password, you would go into here and then you would edit that password and you can change it right there. There's another way to edit your password and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Um, so that is, those are the main features um, in the profile area that you can work with and kind of have some fun with. Now let's talk about some of the different apps and different programs that we have here. You'll see on some that there is a, um, a blue ribbon with a white key and then on some there's nothing. If there is not a ribbon with a key, that means that it is just a web link. It will not sign you into anything. If you see a key with it, that means that that will ask you to put in your username and password for that first time. You will put that in and then it will save it. And the next time when you click that icon, it'll just take you and sign you right into that program. Um, we have a couple of these are set up that as soon as you click it, it'll automatically sign you in, but the majority of them will be that you sign in for the first time um, and then you will be good to go. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So if I go to Flipgrid, now as you can see it populated some information here. Some of your information, and that could happen if you've saved a password, um, that's doing that because I've, I have two accounts that I'm running right now because I'm trying to run this as what the teacher account looks like exactly. Um, but you want to pay close attention to that because sometimes your login info won't be um, your your email address and maybe your last name first name so don't just hit save make for sure you're putting in the right the right um, information to log into that account so for this account okay hold on one second while I get this logged in here so I have my information put in then I select save um, and then if this pops up you don't have to worry about saving that because it's already saving in ClassLink and now it has already put me into Flipgrid so now if I go back to Flipgrid and I put in my information I click that icon it's making magic happen as you can see and then now I am logged into Flipgrid um, with my account which is pretty awesome so if you accidentally put in the wrong password or you want to update that password, um, again, you can go into your profile area to do that, or you can right click on the program, select update password, and then here, if you go into edit, then you'll be able to put in that new password information. Um, so that's an easy way that you can manage um, updating your passwords, or if you need to change something, you can do that. Again, if it has a key, that means you'll put in a password, and if it does not, it is just a web link. 
Um, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out to Mandy and I, and thanks for checking out this video. Mm -hmm.